What's up everyone? Um, I'm going to be teaching you how to basically map out your PlayStation controller to a Wii emulator so you can play basically Wii games on your PC. So what well, number one, you're going to want to essentially download Dolphin, um, extract the file, run the file, and it'll take you to here, right? So you want to click controllers over here. Now, if the game supports GameCube controllers, uh, Mario Galaxy doesn't in this case. So we're going to skip this part over here and we're going to go over to Wii Remote 1. Now, because we are using a emulated controller, we're not using a real Wii Remote, right? As you can see here, you want to go ahead and select emulated Wii Remote. So go ahead and do that. And then once you're here, you're going to want to press configure. Now, don't be daunted by, you know, all of this stuff because it, it can be quite scary. But you want to basically um, see over here, your buttons for your Wii remote are going to be over here. So this is all that's going to be registered on the on the game itself, right? Um, so we have A on the Wii remote. I personally select it as X, B as square, number one as L1, and number two as R1. Now, again, for these two are not going to be needed as much on Mario Galaxy, but I just do it anyway. Um, so feel free to copy these um, buttons if you want. Back, I choose as, sorry, minus, I choose as the sort of share button. And then plus is going to be a start button. Home, you're not really going to need, but I basically mapped it to touchpad. So pretty simple, right? Now, you're going to want to see over here, you, you've got extension. Make sure it's selected to nunchuck. And um, I've selected attach motion plus. You don't really need it, but I've just done it anyway. Um, so then we want to go to our next part of the settings, which is to completely ignore this, completely ignore, yeah, just that. So now we're on to motion input. So now this is, as you can see, I'm moving my controller and the accelerometer and gy gyroscope is moving, as you can see, right? So this is going to be to basically do any kind of shake inputs that you would be doing with the Wii remote. And, um, yeah, so when I first downloaded this, it was really, really sensitive. So I decided to, to kind of mess around with the settings a little bit so you don't have to. I found personally that the dead zone to be 15 works really well because anytime I'd just be holding the controller, it would just do the shake um, motion on the default. I think it was set to like three. So maybe that's my controller. Um, see if this this works for you. Um, and then the calibration period to five seconds. Um, I don't know why. I just thought I'd just mess around with it. And it seems to be working pretty well. So um, definitely give that a go. And that's it. Apart from this, so nunchuck, nunchuck is going to be your, again, you know, we've got the two Wii remotes, right? You've got one in one hand and then you've got the nunchuck on the side. This game requires that. So we want to basically calibrate it according to our analog stick, right? As you can see over here. So you press calibrate and then you want to go and press each. Oh, you're going to basically press each one. So just up, that's it. And then down, just press it once and then left. Same with that right same with that um if you do have stick drift you can adjust the dead zone accordingly i don't so i'm i'm basically chilling um so yeah pretty much and then my uh, buttons for c which is on the nunchuck is going to be the l2 and z i said z didn't i goodness um is going to be r2 so from that you want to basically ignore this tab and ignore this tab too and you want to press profile make your own profile um, i already have one saved so click that, press save and press close. And then once you've obviously run your game, um, I already have my Mario Galaxy over here and it works pretty well. I mean, look, as you can see, the gyroscope is pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty responsive as well. So that works out pretty well. Jumping is again, typical jumping. Um, when I was talking about the one and two earlier, that's to like do the shake option if you want. As you can see, it moves the cursor by itself. So it emulates the shake concept of it. You don't have to use it, you can if you want. I can just do that as well because I've already set it to that. So feel free to, to toggle with if you want to shake it or not. Middle click of your mouse to basically get rid of some of the settings. So again, if you want to get rid of it, you can just press the middle part of your mouse and the middle part of that and it won't basically have anything over there anymore. So yeah, so you've got that and you've got that. So pretty much shake, whatever. Um, just don't press these if you don't want to do it, if you just want to do it anyway. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's that's everything. So you can see it's, the game runs pretty smooth. Um, and yeah, it's pretty responsive. Like I can just like throw some stars at this guy quickly. There you go. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. I hope you've, um, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, just drop a comment down and um, yeah, I'd be more than happy to help, man. Enjoy gaming.